Okay, you guys know me by now. I try to keep this thing short, sweet, and to the point with timestamps right down here with the very first story being the HTC Vive Cosmos. Let's just jump into it. Okay, I know why you're here. HTC Vive Cosmos just launched, available for pre-order, and the system is expected to ship October 3rd at a price point of $700. That's all the stuff that we didn't know yet. Now we do, and let, let's go into a foray of all of its other stuff. Okay, so there aren't gonna be any base stations that you have to set up, no lighthouses, no outside-in tracking, but rather inside-out. But if you're following this channel, you probably already know that. Um, let's see, what, what else do we need to actually talk about? Um, obviously the, the base plate itself is going to be modular, so there's likely going to be other changes you can make to the, to the headset itself in the future. Let's see, uh, what else? Um, oh yeah, the pre-order link, if, if you want to pre-order now, is going to be available in the description down below. So, um... It's going to be a PC based headset, so it is going to connect to a PC, but it's also going to be capable of connecting to other devices that have a USB connection. And then on top of that, um, let's see, the screen flips up, which we already knew. The controllers are going to be similar in design to those of the Oculus Rift. The headset is going to be weighing in at 645 grams and with the the resolution itself is going to be 1440 by 1700 per eye so 2800 or 2880 by 1700 in total and on top of that when you load in it's going to launch something called Vive Origin which is going to be essentially your your UI that operates everything from the settings to launching games and everything in between. Just like when you launch your PS4 or your computer, there is a, a basic user interface or operating system that greet when you start up the system. Um, what what else is there? I can't really think of anything else we need. But I think that's about it for this video. Well, this chapter anyway. Okay, so it's recently come out that an EA Canada developer claims that the upcoming consoles, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Scarlet, have a necessity to be always online. However, uh, there is one caveat there in that because it is not coming from Sony or Microsoft directly, it may need to be taken with a grain of salt as everyone knows and remembers the xbox one scandal that happened when that was expected to launch when they claimed that it would be a necessity for the xbox one to always be online so hopefully neither one wants to repeat the mistakes of the past so we'll see what happens when it launches Hopefully, we'll lear learn a bit more before time progresses. During the preliminary research for this video, I found a physics engine called Project TX that seemed very promising as, the, as a baseline for future physics engines or maybe the baseline for future games. Because it seemed, well... I can't even put it into words, to be quite honest with you. Not, not in any set that, that would describe it cohesively in as few words as possible. But instead, I'll just link the, the YouTube video down below and you guys can take a look at it for yourselves. Okay, finally, we do have to consider the upcoming headset out of a German startup called Valety. They are taking huge steps when it comes to a final product. The prototype itself is amazing in and of its own self, or in and of itself. With the length of it extending out just past the bridge of your nose, 
the weight coming in at 200 grams, three degrees of freedom for tracking, 2K by 2K micro displays, 80 degree field of view, 36 pixels per degree. Uh, let's see what else, what else? It's already got a flip up design similar to that of the Vive Cosmos, which just went up for pre-order. But the expected launch cost is, is going to be sitting around $1,000 when it launches in one of 2021. The final specification that Validity expects include a launch weight of just 150, six degrees field of view, 85 degree field, field of view with the same or with similar K by 2K micro displays. Uh, let's see what else, what else? A refresh rate sitting around 90 or 120 Hertz. Although all that being said, the image, the image didn't seem right and they haven't yet implemented low persistence in the headset, which would reduce motion blur by pulsing the backlight. And that in itself would have an impact on the final brightness of the image. So hopefully, sometime between now and when it launches, they can work on the brightness and the low persistence rate on the headset. So all that being said, their, their final goal is for a commercial headset. However, with the backpack set or with the mobile setup that they have planned for it, although it is going to be PC tethered, they plan for a backpack setup as well. Uh, all that being said, they're aiming for a mer more commercial, a more commercial audience. However, they aren't going to discount the, uh, what is it, consumer audience. Like I said, it is going to, ex it is expected to launch around $1,000. So if you're in the market for a far more compact VR headset around that time, then be sure to give this a look. Like I said, it is the Validity Compact headset launching one 2021. So hopefully we all have something to look forward to. Okay, bye. If you guys are still here and you're feeling charitable in some way, you can activate that charity in a few different ways. The first one, you can go to humblebundle.com and pick out one of the bundles that they have for sale there. When you get one of these bundles, you're not you're not only able to get some good software or books or games or what whatever it is that you're you're choosing, but you're also able to support a charity of your choice. They have a few different ones available, so you don't have to feel necessarily tied down to helping children or animals. The, even though, well, animals are always a good one, aren't they? And then. If that is up your speed, I'm selling these headphones on Amazon. Link on screen. I personally use them. I really like them. And they've been working out really well for me. If that still doesn't really work out well for you, I've got a link on screen also for my Patreon. Well, up here somewhere. I, I don't know where I'll put it. But you'll find it somewhere. I hope. Probably. Maybe. Uh, I think this is a good place to end the video. If you guys liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm such a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.